Hello and welcome back to another video with Jess. So as you can see behind me, my rail is empty and I'm packing up because I'm actually leaving uni officially today. I'm coming back on the 1st of July to move stuff to my new house, but I'm actually moving out of this flat properly today. It's quite sad about, but also I just wanted, because I haven't actually filmed a flat tour this year, so I'm going to put the flat tour in this video. If you don't know, I am studying at University of Manchester. Um, and I'm staying, well, this year I have been at Whitworth Park Accommodation and I don't think there's many photos or like videos online of this accommodation. So hopefully this can help someone if you're just looking for the flat top because basically that's all it's going to be. And I think I'm just going to like film the different areas of the flat and like a voiceover because I don't want to disturb anyone else in the flat. I'm going to do a tour of my room because pretty much like this is just it. Um, and there is a video on my channel that is a room tour. I'll link it in the description and I'll put it in like one of the information cards up here anyway. So this is me leaving like the reception area. Um, I've just got a little key card that gets you into the reception and the front gate. So this is the front gate of Whitworth Park accommodation. Um, you should use key card to get in there. Sorry to confuse you, these next two clips are just from a different angle so this is actually where the car park is and um, when i was moving stuff in and out i parked in here or like when i was being picked up for weekends and stuff um this is really bad like videoing so please excuse but i just thought i'd try and give you the general gist of like walking towards the accommodation this is actually dilworth house that you can see this is the first house um in the accommodation i think there is eight houses dilworth house actually has two floors um, and we were on the second floor so you just have to go up these steps to get to ours also the flat layout i'll try and explain it now it's a bit confusing so on the ground floor there'll be um, a flat at the front and the back of the house and then on the second floor the flats alternate either going above the second floor or below the, the second floor and then they also alternate on either side of the corridor. It's very confusing but if you are going to this accommodation you'll understand it when you get there. But this is just going into Dilworth House. Um, I was on the left hand side of the building because it's kind of split by that stairway um, and then I was actually in flat 9 um, and this is just one of the ones on the right so my flat was actually an example of one of the ones that goes up um from the second floor because it was on the right hand side of the corridor i've just walked into the flat i didn't actually film much downstairs because there was two girls moving out their stuff when i was filming um on the left hand side that first door that is just a downstairs sink and then there is three rooms on this ground floor the one at the end is like a superior single it's the biggest room in the flat and then the two others on the left and the right at the end of the corridor they are like box rooms. My room was on the first floor up on, of our flat. Um, excuse all the mess. There was actually like everyone was leaving the flat when I filmed this. So that's why it all looks so messy. When you first get upstairs, there's a little bit of a, a laundry area. Oh, that's just where we kept our drying racks. Um, walking into the bathroom, basic, but it'll do. There's three sinks three mirrors that little hole at the end of the bathroom or the little space at the end of the bathroom was just storage space for the cleaners stuff and um, there's a shelf to put all your toiletries on and then there is two showers and two toilets and this was a flat of seven of us but initially we were only supposed to be a flat of five so you might not even be in a full flat of people Then we go uh, to the right of the bathroom and this is my room. My room and all the other rooms on this floor are pretty much the same size. So these um, are very standard, they're single rooms, but it was perfect for what I needed for first year. There was plenty of space and storage and the desk was brilliant, it was nice and big. As you can see from this clip, included in your room was a large desk, you had a set of drawers, you had a wardrobe, a set of shelves, your single bed and a desk chair. So then coming back out my room and then going to the left up the stairs again, we then go into the kitchen of Whitworth. Again, it's basic, it's not amazing. Ours in Dilworth actually hadn't been upgraded, but the kitchens were in the process of being updated in the whole of Whitworth Park. So um, yours will probably look better than this. 
Included in the kitchen, there was a seating area, a dining table, seven chairs. We had two large fridges, an ironing board, an iron was included, a microwave and a kettle, and there was an electric cooker. says goodbye to the uni room. Bye bye. We're, we're... <laughs> oh, my son's coming for you. Okay, so this is just a little bit of the end of the video. Like, I'm in my own bedroom at home now. And also, you just have to excuse the setup. It's My room's very messy at the moment. But there's just a few other things I wanted to mention about the accommodation because I thought it might be helpful if you've watched the video for, like, a tour of the accommodation rather than, like, if you've seen my channel before. First of all, about Whitworth Park. They are all shared bathrooms, so my flat was obviously shared bathrooms, two toilets, two showers, and I think every flat had two showers, two toilets, whether it was seven, eight or nine people living in the flat, and I also mentioned in the video that the flats were all seven, eight or nine people flats. They also said our flat when we moved in, we were told we were only supposed to be a flat of five, and two of the girls actually moved in later. Also about Whitworth Park, it was £115 per week when I started, which is so cheap for manchester accommodation compared to other ones i don't i think that works out around four thousand a year obviously your bills are included because it's halls but all the fallow field accommodations they started from like 150 apart from oak house people will say that whitworth park is terrible when i went i'd heard so much bad stuff about whitworth park but honestly like it's just a place for you to stay first year, especially this year with bills and stuff going up, you'll be really grateful to have a cheaper accommodation. Well, not bills, just like the cost of living going up, you'll be really grateful to have that extra bit of money. So I would definitely recommend putting Whitworth Park down as an option. Also, I'm just gonna mention now that Manchester unis, if you are applying, or if you're thinking about applying in a couple of years, Uni of Manchester accommodations, they don't work like a lot of other unis. A lot of unis, you pick the accommodation you want and then the uni will give you that accommodation. But uni of Manchester, you have to pick top five um, and you get one of them. I actually had, I think I had four en suites and I think I had four in Fallow and Whitworth Park was my only city accommodation, my only shared bathroom accommodation. But it was very low like requested, like not many people put it down at all. So I feel like if you'd put it down to say that you didn't mind having it, because you also can't rank your top five, you just have to pick five accommodations to put them down. So I feel like if you'd put Whitworth Park, they gave you Whitworth Park. But it actually worked out for the best like i'm really happy that i was there for first year i really enjoyed my room and i did make quite a few friends in the accommodation so following on from that people might say because it's a city accommodation which means it's like there's follow accommodation there's victoria point accommodation and there's city accommodation follows the furthest away that's also where a lot of student houses are so if you don't live there first year like chances are you'll be living there second year or third year victoria point is kind of somewhere in between i feel like there's a lot of post grads live there because it's not like got the social life of follow which you're probably not as fussed about if you're postgrad city accommodation was actually really useful because it was so much closer to your lectures you didn't have to pay for a bus pass and i was actually the furthest building away where the fashion studies were and i lived in city accommodation and i was so grateful because if you lived in fallow there was only one bus that took you all the way to that whereas i could walk there in 20 minutes which is nothing compared to it would take you an hour if not more to walk that from fallow and i thought mm, i forgot fallow i will just walk you, you're not gonna and for nights out as well city accommodation is so much easier because you can walk back from the city centre you you'll have to get a bus if you live in fallow also if like you're worried about social life fallow field is it does have a lot more flat parties and stuff but if you are a social person if you want to be social if you want to go out and make friends you will make friends wherever you are it doesn't really matter um, and Whitworth Park still had flat parties they may not have been like crazy crazy but you still got to speak to a lot of people i did meet a lot of people in first year and I, I i thought the whole way through i was like i've not really spoken to that many people not made that many friends but literally every time i walked into the accommodation i'd smile at someone or like speak to someone quickly because i'd met them also i don't know if i mentioned this in the video so the flat i showed you not all the flats in whitworth park are the same as that bearing in mind some of the houses look like mine so like they're like the triangle shape but there is two houses i can't remember the names now i know one's called acom house but some of them are like just square buildings they have a lot more floors which is a bit of a pain when you're moving in because there's no lift if you are in one of the flats like mine like the pointy houses you can also have rather than mine which was like one floor bedrooms another floor bedrooms a bathroom and then the top floor that was like a kitchen dining area social area some of the flats have like a separate kitchen and a separate dining area and then obviously your bathroom separate literally if you put Whitworth Park I can't promise you that it's going to be 
like mine are you gonna get my room like they all are very different but i did see quite a variety of rooms and flats and stuff and they all are pretty standard and they're they're nice they're they're like perfectly livable also clean is included in whitworth which it is not in your ensuite um well i think in other accommodations where you have an ensuite i think the communal areas are still cleaned but whitworth park the cleaners were really good cleaned your bathrooms and that was so good to have like not have to buy cleaning products and just to have like a decently cleaned bathroom and they were clean kitchen as well so that was also good you can request a room with a sink so although they all are shared bathrooms you can have a sink in your room i think that was an extra five pound per week i personally was right next to the bathroom so i think it would have been a bit of a waste of money for me to to pay for a sink in my room i feel like it's useful to have a sink in your room but because i didn't have one i didn't feel like i was really missing it another point about the shared bathroom actually i was dreading having a shared bathroom but it genuinely is a bit of a bonding experience because especially when you first move into your flat you run into people a lot in the bathroom and it just like you just say hi to people and it just like breaks the awkwardness you might walk in as someone's walking out or just when you're brushing your teeth on a night you just could start a conversation what are you doing tomorrow or like have you made your tea my final point is because it's a city accommodation i've already said that it's close to like uni but Whitworth Park specifically literally has a Sainsbury's local opposite, a Morrison's opposite, a Greg's basically attached to it. It has an Asian supermarket, again, literally attached to it, has a McDonald's directly opposite. And then five minute walk up the road, it also has a Lidl, it has a Super Drug, it has Poundland, and it has a Tim Hortons and an art gallery. So I just thought it was great. Like there was so many things close to it. So that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you again very, very soon. And if you are going to uni, good luck. I hope everything goes very well for you. Bye.